Here's the next part of this story. He bobs up and down, on the bubbles as he floats. We need to draw some bubbles for Slippery. Okay, let's draw some bubbles for Slippery. What kind of bubbles should we make for him? Ooh, good thinking. Okay, let's draw bubbles for Slippery. There, this looks great. Pure perfect. Now on to the next part. So the next part of the story is, today, there is no wind to blow his sail. No wind to blow his sail. Oh no. Ooh, but we better color in the sail. What color do you think we should color the sail? Ooh, good choice. I'll color it in. There, all colored in. When all of a sudden, he spots a tail. A tail. Let's draw a tail. So, if he saw a tail, what would it look like? Ooh, that's a good one. I'll put that in. There. Wow, you are so good at storytelling. Okay, what's next Periwinkle? The next part is, the tail flapped, and wagged to create some wind. Now all we have to do is create the animal that goes with this tail. Okay, let's imagine a creature to go with this tail. So, what kind of animal could you imagine, to go with this tail? Good imagining. Let's put that in. Ha ha ha. That looks so silly. Good imagining. Okay, just one more part of the story to go. The last part goes, Captain Slippery, made a new friend. Okay. Let's finish off the last part of the story. So, how should we finish off Captain Slippery's adventure to the story? Excellent choice. Let's put that in. Wow, that looks great. And look, we're at the end of the story. Thanks for helping. No problem, Periwinkle. Hey, Mr. Salt, what's shaking? We need your help. Will you help us give out books to all of our friends? Do you want to help give out books to all of our friends? You do. Great.